Today we are going to answer frequently asked questions about Interact through Chasham application. Hello, welcome to Jeb and Japan. This is Jeffrey Tinaga. And I received several questions by messengers on Facebook. So, naisip ako gawa nito ng video, mga kasensei. Without further ado, let's get into this. First question, is there an age limit? Well, according to Interact's website, be under 60 years of age. Okay, be under 60 years of age. So actually, before my application, I didn't know this. Uh, but during the meeting here in my first year, I saw some not so young Filipino uh, ALTs na kaedad siguro ng mother ko. So it's possible pa rin for you to apply as long as you are healthy, as long as you can still work. Under Chasham's website, wala naman ako nakita din. So I think it's, it's okay. Question number two. When are Interact's hiring months? So through Chasham, they are hiring throughout the year, but they send ALTs to Japan twice a year. So in spring, March, that probably March, and in summer, September, August, September. So in yung twice a year sila nags send. Number three, what if you applied for JET? Are you still eligible to apply for Interact? Of course, ayos lang. Uh, they don't care if you applied for JET already. They don't care if I, you apply for other companies. What is important is your qualifications are fit. fit. But there are JETs that worked for Interact after uh, their JET contract ended. Question number four. Pwede ba mag-retake if bumagsak sa Chasham application? Yes, if tolerable or madadala pa ng hilot yung accent mo, uh, yung local accent ng Pinas. And of course, few grammar mistakes uh, lang naman. Kung bumagsak ka sa writing an essay, yung mismong essay part lang yung ulitin mo. If you fail the accent test, yung accent test lang naman yung i-repeat mo. Unless talagang if three times mo na naibagsak ng isang component Done, maybe that would be a different story. Question number five. Who has the final say sa pag renew ng contract? Both you and the employer kapag nasa intra ka. So if you want to stay with them, then may intention survey kami na sinasagutan by email. So yun lang naman. And my ALT din kami dito na 18 years. 18 years na, 18 years na dito sa uh, intra. So, so yes, pwede kang magtagal dito hanggat sa gusto mo. Marami bang paperwork ang interact Wala. This is my favorite actually. Uh, I would remember Donna. Siya ang isa sa mga nagkikayat sa akin na maging ALT sa Japan. Totoo yung sinabi talaga ni Donna. As in, wala ka masyadong iintindihin sa trabaho. So, very good siya for your health kung ayaw mo ng stressful na environment. So, you'll teach 3 to 5 hours a day and there will be more times to be sleepy on your desk. Di ka kasi gumagawa ng lesson plan. Di ka din gumagawa ng grades. Well, kapag sleepy ako on my desk, I would study Nihongo. Japanese, people tend to look at you kapag wala kang ginagawa. So, I would try to study Japanese na lang. Okay. We don't compute grades. We don't make reports. Hindi ka advisor. Uh, you're not a homeroom teacher. So, wala kang mga ganong bagay. Uh, but we sometimes make lesson plans. So, lesson plans to be number seven. We sometimes make lesson plans because if your HRT or JTE already has a plan, so therefore, you just assist him or her. Walang problema doon. Talagang mag assist ka lang. You don't need to make a lesson plan. But sometimes, if you are the T1, uh, you're gonna need to make one. At least one day or two days before. You're gonna prepare that. Have them checked by your JT or HRT. Question number 8. What is the truth about two months na walang sahod? Uh, this is true. Just take into consideration that just like the Philippines, may time para i-process yung lahat ng documents mo, yung 
name mo para maipaso sa system nila pati yung translation remember you are a foreigner tapos system nila ay Japanese need nila ayusin yun na maipaso ka doon para mapasok ka sa payroll para mapasok yung parang SSS number mo uh, para mapasok ka din sa insurance and so on so maraming process na pagdadaan so give them 2 months so totoo po yung 2 months na walang sahod and you just need to prepare according sa website nila kailangan mo ng pocket money also depending on the starting date your first salary will be received approximately 6 to 8 weeks after the start of the employment if you didn't watch my video nandun sa video na yon yung pagtitipid I'm gonna link it here question number 9 in my previous video I discussed here the pocket money that I had that is 100k yen lang yung pera ko nun and bumili kasi ako ng DSLR lens nun because I forgot my kit lens sa Pinas. Now, for recruits arriving from overseas, you will need to have approximately 500,000 yen available to you in accessible cash, not credit card. So you can cover costs associated with setting up your apartment and sustain yourself until the, your first day. So generally, medyo from the Interact website, 500,000 yen is too much. Well, if you can live a frugal life, then 500,000 yen is too much. Pwede mong gawin niya ng 100 or 200,000 yen. So, it depends. But generally, they are asking us to pay for 200,000 yen. Sa nare-recall ko doon sa sinabi ng director. Which is very reasonable. Kasi kaya naman yan. However, if you are very matipid, then you can beat this challenge. Yay! <laughs> Of course, canned goods and noodles would be your way to go. Ah, uh, wag nyo kalimutan yun. Wag nyo kalimutan magbao ng marami na. Basta pag nakalimutan nyo, andito yung tips kung ililink ko dito. And last but not the least, the tenth question is, How much is the placement fee sa Chasham? Hmm, that is the most difficult question. But before answering this question, thank you for watching until the end. This is the hardest requirement actually. So you need to pay them. I won't go into the history of why the Philippines doesn't have any direct hire to Japan. Pero ito yung resulta kung bakit tayo may mga agencies ng na nasa Pinas para magpadala sa Japan. But agencies help us to work here in Japan. So kailangan talaga nating magbayad. So magkano ba ang ating babayaran? You will pay a one month salary. So don't worry, 120% legit naman yung Chesham. Kilalang kilala ng mga boss namin dito yung director natin ng Chesham. Jaan. So you will pay an amount equivalent to one month salary. So this will be based on a day's exchange rate. So I suggest study nyo when bababa ang palitan, then magbayad kayo on that day. Sayo ni kaunti yung mga ilang hundreds or thousands na masasave nyo for picking that date na bababa ba yung exchange rate. So I hope you're getting value from this video. Hit like if you benefited from this video. Subscribe plus the notification bell para makatulong ka to grow my channel. I'll be making more videos about teaching in Japan, living in Japan, and eating in Japan.